So we are almost there. What we need now is to be able to see charts immediately. I click here. We want to see the previous uh, chart right here. Okay, so to do that, uh, we already have this thing. When you click on a user, this thing is being, this information is being retrieved and it's going through the charts that PHP it includes. The only difference is that we are not reading from the database at this point. But luckily for us, we already did this in send message. Uh, there's this part where we say read from DB. That's the part we're supposed to copy here. So I'm just going to copy this part here before the message controls and go to chats. And I'm going to paste it right here. Read from DB, right? Now, the only thing that we are sending here is the user ID of the person we are chatting with. Okay, so for us to find, okay, so we have the user ID of the person and then we also have our own user ID as, um, as a session, right? So we have all the ingredients we actually need. So instead of here reading to use the message ID, which we don't have, we're just going to use uh this the user id so we already have this array where there's user id here so we're just going to expand on that array and use it down here so let me put that array here or what we can do is just say a uh, what are we looking for? We're looking for either a sender or a receiver. So this user ID is for the person that we are... Um, anyway, we can call either of them the same thing. So it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to say receiver. Okay. And then I'll get my own session ID. Where is that session ID hiding? Oops, I think I'm getting blind. Oh, there we go. All right, so this other one will go to this. So there's this user's ID. And so I'm going to change this to sender. But it doesn't matter even if you swap any of these because we're going to do a uh, O and O. If we go to send message here, we did that query already here. Uh, this is the one right here. Select from messages where sender. Blah, 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 blah. So this is the query we need. So let me copy that. And let me come here. Chats. And I will. Right. So this part is important. Order by ID limit 10. So we have to maintain that. So here the sender or the receiver can be either of us and that would be good enough. So that's why we have this and or. So limit 10 order by ID descending like that. Okay. So that should actually do it. So let's go to contacts here and let me click here and see if we will receive. And there we go. Very nice. Very nice. So let's start again so that we can um, see this in action properly. Let me go to my database operations and truncate the messages database so that we have nothing in there now. So let me go back to contacts, click on contact, then there's nothing. So I'm starting a message with this one. So I'm just going to say, hey there. Okay. Oh, I, I can click send. So hey there. And I'm going to say, how are you doing? And there we go. 
So now I'm going to log out and log in as this person so I can see these messages. So log out, yay. Password. And now I want to chat with John and I'll see there are messages from John. So I'll say, hey, John, buddy. How you doing? There we go. So that's a reply there. So as you can see, it's working very well. The only thing now is if I'm not typing or doing anything like the, uh, touching this, I won't receive any new messages that are coming in. And for that, we need to set a timer that is going to read uh, from the messages uh, once in a while. So let's come here and make that. So I will go to index.php right down here where I'm making these, putting these functions. Index.php, where is function view? Right here. So at this point, I am going to set what is called a timeout. Okay, not, not a timeout actually, I'm going to set an interval. So just the way we had added this uh, set timeout here, which will wait for a short time and then run this function, but we're going to do another one called set interval. So set interval, is going to wait for a period of time and repeatedly do the same action, whatever action you put in the function. So I'm going to create a function here and put the brackets and the curly brackets there and then put my comma and tell it when to do to repeat. So 1000 is one second and usually five seconds is fine for messages or even 10 seconds depending on what you want. So this means that every five seconds or every 10 seconds, it's going to go to the server and check if there are any new messages and then bring them back. So you have to be careful how quickly you make this because it can deplete somebody's data very quickly if it keeps going back and forth through the network. All right, so use in moderation, that is the key. So here, set interval. So for now, I just want to see an alert saying, hey, so that we know that the interval is actually working. So let me refresh and let's let's wait for a second here, or five seconds, I guess. Eh, there we go. So if I accept that, I wait another five seconds. There we go. So it keeps doing that, very annoying. So it's working, great. So now because of this, we can keep so let me just make it uh, 10 seconds maybe. But uh, for testing purposes, I'll leave it at five seconds. All right, so at this point, we want it to get uh, some chats. So we already did this in this function called start chat, right? So what we need is this part right here. Great. So let me go up here, uh, back to our set interval right there. So if for, for some reason you want to cancel the interval, you can, uh, you want to be able to cancel it. You can assign it to a variable, like say uh, my interval or something is equal to that. And then when you want this interval to stop counting, you can just say clear interval, like the clear interval. And then you put this value in here. So this thing will be cleared so it can, so you can start it and then stop it. But we are not going to be doing that. So I'm just going to undo. We need this to be reading continuously. So let's leave it there. So I'm going to paste Oh, my bad. I copied stuff and then I copied something else. So let me copy again and go up here, set interval, and then bam, there we go. So the thing is, we are only 
I only want us to go and get the data if current chat user is actually set to something. Otherwise, it means we are not chatting with anyone, so there will be no need. So I'm going to say if this one is not empty. So if that is not empty, then uh, we can do the set timeout. Okay. We don't need to collect this radio thingy. The only thing really we need is this one. Okay, just this is enough. So once we do this, then we are reading from uh, every five seconds, we are reading some new messages. Very, very nice. So let me refresh. Great. So now for us to be able to see this, I would need a different, I'll need another browser here to be running, but I don't have another browser. Let me try the worst browser on the planet. I don't really have a choice here. Let me see how it's going to display this. Because when creating this, I didn't take into account any of this. Okay. So here I'm browsing as Ethan, then I'm going to browse as John on this one. So I'm going to say John at yahoo.com and then password. Okay, there we go. So what I will do is put two browsers next to each other. This one, yeah. And this one, yeah. Wait, what am I doing? Oopsies. Close that. Okay, there we go. I think we are onto something here. How do you... Okay, so here I'm um, this user, there I'm the other user. So let's see if we can do some communication. So here I want to talk to this user. So there we go. Here I want to talk to this user. So here we go. Pretty cool. Let me move this down so I can see that. Okay, so I am here and I'm saying hello. Oops, that's a problem I didn't anticipate. <laughs> oh my God. So yeah, there, you, so you see the message appear here. Now the problem I'm uh, facing here is that um, as this refreshes here, it also refreshes my text box. So all the data is actually gone, which really sucks. So what I could do is capture the data before I send uh, this thing and then replace it back. Or the other thing could be we separate this from that so that we only refresh this part and we don't refresh this part. So that could be something we do. And you can see every time it reads uh, from the database, you can see the uh, loader going off there to show you that it's actually checking for new messages. So let's type, hey, quickly, quickly, or something like, yo, and you will see it here. There we go. So it's working very well. It's a live, proper live chat as of now okay so let's fix this issue in the next video the issue of refreshing here we're going to fix it in the next video